Hi guys, this is Faithin with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today. To watch this video, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome and I hope that you will like this video and decide to become a subscriber. If you do, I ask that you give me a thumbs up if you like the video and just hit the subscribe button and become a part of our family. Guys, this is a quick and easy DIY that I'm going to do for you. Actually, it is an inspiration from the Z Gallery. I saw two examples and I've chosen to do this one. Now before I move forward, I want to share with you my candle holder that I did yesterday. So if you did not see that tutorial, I hope that you will check it out. I did have a stand, but I decided to remove the stand because I love the way it looks with and without the stand, but I truly love the way it looks without the stand. It is a beautiful candle holder and I have another one here, which I am so in love with. So I hope you will check that video out if you did not see it yesterday. This DIY is, like I said, a Z Gallery inspiration. This came from, this bowl came from uh, the Goodwill. My husband and I went there this morning to check out what they have. And I wanted to do this DIY, but I didn't have a bowl like this. The Dollar Tree does sell a bowl similar to this, but it is plastic. And I wanted to do one that was glass. So I was happy I found it for $1.98. So of course it came home with me. So you'll need a bowl. You can use the Dollar Tree one or you can see if you can find one at your local uh, thrift store or a yard sale. Now, this is the Dollar Tree beer glass. I chose this because I love the way that it looks. The Z Gallery is a little bit wider and of course I will have a picture for you. Now last week I did haul this one from the Goodwill as well and it was $1.18. I can use this one along with the bowl but I truly love the way that it looked on this. I can do that for you guys. You can get a quick peek of what the concept. I love this concept better. And this is more to the Z Gallery because it's wider. But I prefer the beer glass. So that's the one I'm going to promote. I'm going to promote the beer glass. You can choose to do whatever you want if you decide that you wanted more of a wider base, then that's a good way to go. But for me, I love the way the beer glass looks. So that's what I'm going to do. The beer glass, the bowl, you'll need a glue gun and a glue stick. You will need scissors to cut your diamond wrap and you will need diamond wrap. I don't think I'm going to add any gems, but you never know. As I go along, if I feel led, I probably will. So stay tuned, watch the video all the way through. Not to mention, you will need spray paint because the Z Gallery um, one that I'm doing, the copy of it, is in silver. So I am going to choose to spray paint it silver. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I will. So that it's closer to the actual Z Gallery. Okay guys, so I have spray painted it and I want to flip it over. Make sure it's clean. And I'm going to put a generous amount of glue onto the beer glass. Make sure that I have a really good hole. Take the glass, find the center of the bowl. I want to believe that's good. Press it down. Uh, 
and I have decided that I'm going to add the diamond wrap but I also want to add some glitter to this. Okay guys, so for this part I've decided I wanted to add some glitter to it. So what you'll need is Mod Podge, you'll need a cup of water and a paintbrush. You'll need glitter and as usual I've shared with you guys several times these glitter comes from um, Walmart and I'm going to use quite a bit of that. This is the fine, this is the extra fine glitter and it's silver and this one holographic this is going to be a lot as well it's a tad bit different I'm not quite sure what the holographic silver is but that's what it is I guess it has a shimmer of, of um, different colors in it as well so this is these two came from Walmart and this one is extra fine glitter silver champagne so the silver champagne I'm going to put a hint of that in here I love the champagne and basically the measurement I have is just you know eyeballing it make sure that it's enough to cover the surface of what you're working with that's basically it and if you've got leftovers then you just add it to a separate container and use it for another project so that's all my glitter that I'm going to move to the side my water my Mod Podge and I'm going to pause for okay guys so I went ahead and got some parchment paper so I can do my project on And first thing I want to do is to get my glitter together. My water, we can move this glue for now. Don't need it. Make sure you have your brush stamped. And I usually just use the cap of my Mod Podge, flip that over, then I'm going to start to paint on just like this. Get close to your diamond wrap as you can see. I'm trying to get as close as I can and I'm not going to cover the entire surface I'm going to do it in sections so now that I've got my I'm going to add my glitter to it Going to let it fall. Just like that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and continue all the way around and they'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like once I've covered the entire surface. I'm going in sections because I want to make sure that I can still hold my areas. Okay? Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I'm allowing it to dry and then after it's dry, I'm going to go back over it with more of the Mod Podge just to seal the glitter so that if you use this for candy or, you know, even put food on the inside, 
whatever you decide to use it for, the glitter will not come loose all over your item. So I'm going to let it dry and then I'll go back over it again with more Mod Podge and that will just seal all the glitter that is on the project. Hope you guys like it. I add diamond wrap underneath, diamond wrap at the bottom, and diamond wrap at the top. And I think it's all blinged out. If you like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your family and friends. Guys, I truly appreciate your time, your support, and your participation. So I hope that you'll leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. How easy is this? that this is something you would recreate for your home. Alright guys, thank you so much. I will see you on my next DIY.